So today I'm going to try pit firing my terracotta pottery. I built this fire this morning. So the tutorial I watched said I would need some combustibles that would burn slowly. Uh, I just went and gathered up some leaves and grass and stuff and I'm gonna put that down at the base of my fire. It's kind of look like they'll burn quickly, but we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, they're burning quickly. Yeah, so that went away like instantly. If you know any good materials that will like make a soft bed that'll burn slowly for the pots to go on, let me know. I'm gonna try some other things. I tried some wet grass. That's just wet grass, so I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. So my pots have been preheating. I just put them on a tray and stuck them in the oven from zero degrees to now 450. I'm gonna pull them out now. Um, that's just to make sure that they're dry, completely dry, no moisture in them whatsoever. So let's take them out. There they are. They say not to get too attached to your pots the first time you're doing a fire like this. I'm attached. This might be a problem. Okay, so, excuse me, sir. I'm vlogging. Anyways, you're supposed to put your pots next to the fire to, like, heat them up a little bit before you put them in. For today, I'm going to use these uh, s'more sticks. Okay, so I can, I've kind of made this little space in here where I'm going to try and bury the pots. Um, and... Hopefully that works. Now my pots are really in there. I can smell my fleece melting a little bit, so we should sort that out, do something different. I'm not really sure what. All right, so there they are. Um, so a shovel, you guys. A shovel is what you need. Um, so I'm gonna scoop up some of the material and put it on top of my pot. Actually, I don't think you were supposed to put that, that kind of shovel in the fire. Um, smells real bad. We've had a fatality. It's a sad day. That shit's roaring. Um, my pots are in there, so pray for them. So it is 12.30 now, and I think I'll let them cook until 6.30 this evening. I'm not sure how often you're supposed to keep feeding the fire or if it's supposed to just smolder. So we're gonna kind of play it by ear, but I'll keep you guys updated. Quick update on pots. We have two survivors. After the fire went out, I let them sit outside for a few days before I went and um, collected them. They're not vitrified, but I believe they're sintered because they won't dissolve in water and they have some pretty cool coloring to them. You can't use them to like drink out of or anything. Um, they're, they're pretty much just decorative or I guess they could hold like flowers or something. It was a fun experiment, but I'm gonna invest in a kiln.